Baristas. One film that really suffered from the timing of its release, in my opinion, is Turistas. Arriving in 2006, it was seemingly hot on the heels of another installment in the Vacation from Hell subgenre of horror, that being Eli Roth's Hostel, which has since become one of the definitive examples of the Vacation from Hell subgenre of horror. Uh, this might have made it seem like Touristas was a copycat or a cash grab or just another bland torture porn affair as there were many imitators coming fast and furious in the wake of Hostel. But Touristas is none of these things. Um, while it is part of the same previously mentioned subgenre, it is vastly different in terms of tone and execution. The themes of exploitation that Hostel wears on its sleeves are a bit more in the subtext, while Touristas does acknowledge that tourism, even in its purest forms, can be a gateway to exploitation. The Comparisons to Hostel are inevitable, so I'll just continue. Whereas Hostel follows a group of characters we don't like through clubs and bars and into dungeons, Touristas features a group of likable, relatable characters in a tropical paradise where the danger arrives ominously like storm clouds. We are taken from picturesque beaches into remote villages through lush jungles to a mysterious compound and ultimately into a cave system that's both underground and underwater for a sequence certain to make you hold your breath. This might not be the torture porn excelsior that Hostel was, but there is a body horror climax that's certain to have you wincing and gnashing your teeth. If you've seen it, then you know how good it is, but you might not know that there is an unrated extended version available on both Amazon and Google. If you've never checked it out, then you're missing out. If you've seen it, go on and dig up the extended version and see it again. Touristas. Yes.